I, I see in the new kids now, as Dave mentioned, the oral boards, this, this new group that we brought in the last couple years, these kids are very, very sharp. And I think we're well situated for the near future for Palo Verde and where they're going to be able to take the plant. And hopefully, Dave and I's efforts down here in training will uh, mean something to them and they'll, they'll learn what they need to go ahead and carry on and uh, make this place safe and productive for the next, like you said, 20, 30, 40 years. 2045. I haven't been in operations for a while, but what I do see happening with the new operators, they have the tools that we did not have. They have procedures, procedures are being improved. They have the, the thorough training. As Dennis stated, we came in with no, no playbook. We had to make our own. That's in place for the new guys. And so I'm encouraged by the, the emphasis of the training, the emphasis on procedure use and adherence, the emphasis on use of human performance tools, I think, and the use of uh, emphasizing operating experience, the use of operating experience, I, I think will serve them well, and I, I'm sure they're going to do a fine job. I'm also, the, the site philosophy is radically different in 2012 than it was in the early 1980s and late 1970s and that you know you're with the exception of Eric you're looking at four guys here that have spent 30 plus years strictly in operations and I don't think that's going to happen anymore I think there is going to be encouragement and mandates that people in operations go into other organizations and share operations knowledge and operations focus and we're we're having other people come through operations from an engineering background from all these maintenance backgrounds that are they're going to have such a, a broader range of experience to blend together to lead Palo Verde in the future so I'm very encouraged by the the new culture for how we're going to run and, and manage this station and it will be operations focused and it will be led and if you want to be a part of that leadership then you're going to spend some time in operations to learn how the plant runs. I agree. No right more here. 30 year <laughs> operators. Well I think one of the impressive things that uh, Palo Verde has is good facilities for training and for uh, teaching the, your new employees how to safely perform their activities. I think the safety culture that you have at Palo Verde is well recognized. Uh, I can assure you it's well recognized uh, at the NRC and it's certainly well recognized by the board. And so I think as you continue to build on your strength of your people, it's good to have good facilities, good training programs to maintain those high standards. Well, I have been fortunate. I've been, I've been through the plant a number of times. I've been there for force on force uh, exercises. I've been in containment, had a lot of meetings out there, met a lot of people. Uh, I guess the thing that probably impresses me the most is there are a lot of really smart people out at Palo Verde. And uh, every time I, I, I see a new nuclear operators class come into play or, or you just walk around and you talk to folks uh, at virtually every level, uh, and, you know, the maintenance men, the engineers, uh, just uh, a, a bunch of real smart, dedicated people. And I think that's probably in a nutshell, what impresses me the most. There's a tremendous amount of knowledge in those 700 people and others that have left, but really the challenge, and I think the fun that the 700 can have is transferring that knowledge onto some of the, the younger individuals that have started their career. You've got to work as a team. Nobody ever built a plant alone. Nobody ever did much of a job alone. Some did, but mostly you got a team, you got a crew, you got an organization. And if they're not working together, they're working against the good of all. Think about that. If they're not working together, they're undermining all of the people involved. Now that should get a message to you that without the help of the others, you won't have as good a career or family life or whatever than you would have had you been working together. And that's what I would tell them if it was starting new employees starting out today. History plus new plus change equals the Palo Verde way. I don't know about you, but listen to that history and all these people talk about the hard work and efforts that they did to ensure that we have a power plant today to operate. It's made me a little tired. So I took a seat here on this bench with my helpers around us, somebody you may recognize. You know, 25 years of commercial nuclear generation in the desert southwest. What an, what an amazing feat. That's a silver anniversary. 
You know, what we're going to do for this anniversary, besides uh, continue to, to look and, and talk about improving things, we're going to have a time capsule. So let's think about that for a second. Which one of you, 25 years from now, will be doing this video? How about this time capsule? If you had the opportunity, and you do, sit down and write what you think 25 years from now your replacement should know about Palo Verde. That'd be an interesting exchange, wouldn't it? Will iPhones and iPads be as archaic as those battery-operated phones that I just talked about earlier? It's amazing the changes that can happen in 25 years. But one thing I can tell you that I believe, 25 years from now, our golden anniversary, 50 years of operation at Palo Verde Nuclear Generation Station. Boy, that'd be something to think about. We'll have 10 more years left on the license, the license extension we currently have. I believe that we'll have an additional 20 years to operate at that time because we'll have an extra a license extension in play by then. I believe that the 25 years from now that the people that are here right now will continue to carry on this strong legacy of ensuring that we run these plants, run them for the long term and run them right. I believe that they'll continue some of the fundamentals that are in play today, such as knowledge and training. The focus on safety, nuclear, industrial, radiological. I believe that Palo Verde will still be safely and efficiently generating electricity for the long term. Happy